In this lesson, we'll continue our review of reading test eight, section one. We're now on the third passage out of five. And let's read the reference information. This passage is adapted from Rachel Ehrenberg's Salt Stretches in the Nano World, published 2009 by the Society for Science and the Public. The nano world is the world observed on a scale one billionth that of ordinary human experiences. So this is helpful information in, in case you didn't know what the nano world is. It's a very small version, one billionth the size of ordinary human experience. I assume you've read this passage. I'll just begin the first sentence. Inflexible old salt becomes a softy in the nano world, stretching like taffy to more than twice its length, researchers report. And so right away, Typically, salt is inflexible, right, in, in just normal circumstances, but in this nano world, this very small version of human experience, it it's becomes a softy, it stretches like taffy to more than twice its length. And so, if you continue with this passage, it discussed a little bit more about the properties, how it stretches out of the narrow, nano world, also how it was discovered on accident. And then toward the end, the work also suggests new techniques for making nanowires. And so if you understand not only the content, but sort of the organization, it helps. If you look at the questions, the we also have a graph too. The first question is number 22. And this is a general question, the central idea. And if you're not certain, just to review for general questions, I would recommend skipping it, answering the specific questions with, with they give you some direction where to find it. By referencing back and answering questions, you'll build up a better understanding and then returning to the general questions. We're just gonna do these in order, but just keep that technique in mind. One central idea of the passage, sometimes materials behave contrary to expectations. Again, this is, this is the answer. And just to review for general questions, you will never see, remember we read the first paragraph that Salt, which is typically inflexible, becomes very flexible in the nano world. That's too explicit. They never will use those explicit language. They use really broad general language. And you see, we don't salt's not even mentioned. It just references materials and contrary to the expectations. So not specifics. You would never again see that uh, salt becomes an old softy. It's just too literal. And so this is the answer here because if you recall from reading the passage, after they introduced that it stretched out, there was information that was unusual behavior, was discovered on accident. And so that means that it was contrary to expectations. All right, let's take a look at number 23. And this is a general question too. The overall structure, sometimes you see questions, what's the developmental pattern, the structure, how is it listed? So let's take a look at the answers. A list of several ways in which salt's properties differ from researchers' expectations. This is partially true, but several ways. Is that what this whole structure of the whole passage is about? No. A presentation of a hypothesis regarding salt behavior, description of an associated experiment, and explanations of why the results weaken. Okay, this is too specific. It's not accurate. There's not a hypothesis regarding salt and then a weakening of that hypothesis. How about C? A description of two salt crystal experiments, the disagreement in the results and the resolution. Again, this is specific, but it, it's it's not accurate. An introduction into an interesting salt property, right? It, it, it stretches out in the nano world. Description of the discovery, it was on accident, and then speculation regarding its application. This is definitely the answer. And so again, if you're not certain, return to those at the end. All right, let's take a look at number 24. Which choice provides the best evidence for the claim that Moore's group was surprised to observe salt stretching. We know it's between the beginning of the range and the end. It's between 17 and 56. So we're just gonna scan through. We're looking for some evidence that Moore's group was surprised. So we'll just start at 17. But scientists don't expect this super plasticity in rigid crystalline materials like salt, Moore says. This unusual behavior highlights that different forces rule the nano world, says theoretical physicist Christoph Kempfe of Boston College. So right away, it seems like, remember, the question was asking about Moore's group. We want evidence that Moore's group was surprised. And right away, we see Moore. Scientists don't expect this. I mean, I think that's pretty good evidence that they don't expect it, that they're surprised, right? And uh, even though, so here's more again in 25, and it said they discovered it accidentally. Now this, 
right it, it shows how they discovered it but the, remember you have to pay attention to questions asking we want evidence that he was surprised to observe it just discovering an accident is not evidence of being surprised but if they don't expect it that is surprise and so just be careful on those questions the answer for number 24 is a and we'll do the last question on this page this is a word in context what does rule mean in line 20 so we're just going to look at line 20 and we'll try to predict it this unusual behavior highlights that different forces rule the nano world so rule in this case means sort of they govern or they are leading or controlling right it's control it's definitely control not mark not not declare restrain they are governing or controlling the nano world.